afternoon cactus people. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Pylosa cereus before they go out to the um, for sale tunnel. Well at least these um, three will be going out. Um, one of them is actually under offer so we might not see these all again. So um, I've gathered them together. Just have a quick look. Uh, I already said that didn't I? Uh, this one in this pot, this will be staying. I'll be keeping this one. Uh, this is my uh, sort of specimen one. Now this previous years I've had it up against the um, window here so I can actually mark off where it's grown to um, a bit like you do with your kids against the door frame and previous year it grew a good six inches uh, was romping away quite happily and then I don't know if you can see it on this side so much but uh, by turning round we had the cold season the cold snap in December 2022 was it and this did suffer a little bit you can see there's some brown marking down this side which has damaged it a bit but not destroyed it at all and it actually stopped it growing stopped it in its track so um, the following year it only put on for two inches is that at the top so it really slowed it down uh, there's a few marks on uh, some of the others these were in pots and I did move them in under um, a bit of shelter but it got so cold on that, that December, the um, little heater I had in there wasn't wasn't up to it, so they did suffer a bit. I say they they can tolerate a little bit of frost, but not um, for the extent that we had it um, on that particular December. So they all suffered a little bit, except for this one, which was in the bed down here, and um, I couldn't do anything other than put some fleece over this. So there was no way of keeping it warm and it almost died, it um, shriveled up, turned its toes off it was up to here and I cut the top off um, one of our viewers said well why not just chop it off so I thought why not, let's give it a go um, but he didn't look too happy so I dug him out and I put him in a pot and later on in the year it grew a couple of um, small pups out of the side there so uh, I think they're still alive, it was a bit early in the season to tell but um, yeah they look okay so we'll hold on to that and if that takes grow some more out the side we can take them off or just leave it there as an interesting specimen. So, uh, now these might look like I've had them for ages. I got them in 2019 and they were about the size. There was a group of I think five in a pot and um, the smallest one was actually smaller than this one which is a couple of years old. Uh, I'll put these here because they're roughly the same size as the group I got um, these at. Um, I'll dig out a picture and put that at the end of the video so you can see these what these looked like um, all those years ago. Now, Colin the cactus aren't really my department, it's more Lynn's from Desert Plant from Ab parts of Avalon, so uh, she knows much more about them than I do. I know that unless I, I sell them this year, I'll have to probably have to do something about these before they get um, too big for the pot, so I might end up cutting them rooting the bottoms and then putting them in smaller pots yeah I'm not, not too sure but uh, getting across that I might actually uh, sell a couple this year which would be great so um, anything else on them no I think that was it so um, now these will go out um, when the danger of frost has passed they'll go into the, um, the colder tunnel and uh, the little ones I shall keep in here my specimen one I'll keep in here as well so uh, I think that was about it. Just thought I'd show you before I got rid of them. So thank you very much for watching everyone. See you in the next video.